Okay, so over the past couple of days, I've been listening to new releases from Nems and Blanco, and that's made me want to make some more experimental type drill stuff. So I think I'm just gonna give it a go and see what I come up with. Of course, I'm gonna try and switch it up and put my own spin on it. But in today's one, I'm going to be trying to make beats in the style of Blanco and Nems. Okay, so I think for educational purposes, first beat I'm gonna make is from scratch and it's gonna be more in the style of Blanco. For this one, I'm gonna go for a BPM of roughly 145. Also thought I'd mention, this beat is probably gonna be heavily inspired by an Instagram reel that I saw by Prod Segway. But yeah, I heard the beat and I thought the Rhodes piano sounded good, so I'm gonna try and emulate it a little bit. I think I'm probably just gonna open up this one because I don't really feel like messing with key skip right now. Yeah, this one's pretty basic, so I'm just gonna go with this. There was this piano sample I found a while ago that might be useful right now. Can't really remember the melody for it, but if I find it after this, I'll link it somewhere. <laughs> Try and remember the top line melody that I heard a while ago. This was not really the vibe that I was going for, but I think I'm just gonna go with it. So I may have added a minor number of effects. I think I might layer this chord progression with a couple things. I'm gonna open up the GOAT plugin, maybe this one. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of overused this sound, but it sounds good, so. And I've just copied and pasted the chords in here. I'm just removing a couple of the notes that I don't think I need. Okay, I think that's sounding good. Honestly, I might just copy and paste the chords in there again. shorten this and then add a slide here somewhere. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere now. I don't know why I'm hearing like a vocal sample on this or something. Problem is I don't really want this to turn into a central C type beat. This is the thing. I might layer a couple more things on that. Okay, at this point I'm kind of just making it up, so I'm just gonna see what other stupid sounds I can find. I think I'm gonna use the pattern function in Session Guitarist. Basically just a pattern that gives it a bit of syncopation. What is this Kelvin Harris, Ryan Gosling type beat? This just isn't really a drill beat anymore, but it's fine.
don't think I need any more percussion. I might just mute the bass guitar and then start with the bass line. <laughs> do this i might just layer the 808 with a sub bass in the high frequencies so i'm just going to copy and paste the 808 pattern and then i'll delete the notes that aren't relevant to the slides <laughs> Okay, honestly, this beat might be a bit too experimental. Like, I don't even know who I would send this to, really. By the way, I'm gonna mix it down and arrange it, and we'll see what the final beat sounds like. Okay, I think I've got everything mixed and arranged. Main thing I changed, I added some ornamentation and a couple of orchestral effects, but nothing too crazy. I also bounced out the guitar because contact libraries kill my CPU. I also made a couple of cuts in the drum pattern to emphasize the synthetic elements that I added. But apart from that, the beat's basically the same. So real quick, I'm gonna play it and we'll see what it sounds like. <laughs> sounded pretty good so as i said before i think it's slightly too experimental i feel like the guitars are a bit unnecessary but regardless i think it sounds solid and real quick i'm going to say a big thank you to prod segue for inspiring this video i feel like the beat i ended up making sounded nothing like the one from his video but i also want to say thank you for watching and hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration this video helped you in some way so i'm going to play the final beat one more time and see what i could do better for next time <laughs>